Root and I got separated, and I had no equipment. I mean, I had uh, it in my poncho, my backpack. Uh, she had the tent and the sleeping bag and all the other equipment, and uh, I had water bottles, but no water filter. So anyway, uh, needless to say, uh, I was just going for a shelter or a road, you know, because uh, to get to safety, you know, to get to... Uh, so, uh, in the rain and, and everything, I'm heading for water and for shelter so I can get dry. Because I think I have equipment in my bag, you know, that I, that I can change clothes and dry. But I was incorrect. So, but, uh, but, uh, neither here nor there. But anyway, so out there in the middle of the night, and it's, uh, I think I missed uh uh where i was supposed to turn uh it's dark and i have a headlight and i'll show you and i had it on a purple poncho and and then, of course i'm just cruising through uh the mountain in the rain because I, I i have no choice i can't go back it's too dangerous the rocks are slippery I'm climbing a mountain <laughs> all i could do is just keep thinking well if i could just get to the shelter uh, I'll be okay. It's the, it's pouring down rain. When it was raining too hard, uh, my headlight, the the poncho would push down the, and in the headlight. I couldn't see anything in front of me. I couldn't see two feet in front of me uh, when it was raining heavy. So I would just end up having to stand there in the middle of the trail for I don't know how long. Sometimes, you know, just waiting for it to slack down enough rain that I could keep uh, moving forward. But then when it rains like up, it, it raise up and let my headlight go. So I'm cruising around this corner and lo and behold, 10 feet in front of me is a bear. <laughs> and he's busy. He's taking, uh, using the bathroom. And instantly he goes, I can't even make that duplicate scream, but he screamed louder than I've ever heard anything else scream in my life. and stomped his front feet on the ground and snorted you know and I was like uh you know of course I had my trekking poles in my hand and uh I'm thinking okay get to my mace and I go to grab my mace and it's it's like super velcroed mace it's a and I'm just like snatching on it nothing 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 and he does it again he goes screaming at me I can't even do it. He's slamming down his feet. Well, I was able to get uh, the uh, Velcro to release. I grabbed on one end of it, and I was able to do that. And then I just settled in. I was like, okay, if this is going to be it, this is going to be it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. <laughs> I settled in. I got ready, I kicked my leg back, and I was thinking, this is awesome! I was thinking, yes! <laughs> I wasn't, I was scared, but I, I wasn't afraid. I was thinking that it's, uh, you know, yes, Father, if this is the way you wanted it, this is, I'm going to make you proud, is what I was thinking. And at, at, at that point, I, I think an angel actually, uh, Frighten him off or, or something to that effect because uh, he, he, he looked down, he blew really hard, you know, just he was clearing his nose of nastiness, probably his own stink from behind him. <laughs> and then he turned slightly and made a path through trees. I didn't think he could do that. It was louder than the screams. His path tearing out of there. Well, needless to say, I did not uh, hesitate from that moment on. I, I uh, cruised right back there, stepped over his scat, <laughs> and kept going. And can hear him in the distance. Go, 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 go. So that was a uh, that was the bear uh, attack. That happened. That's what happened. We are here and we are 
going to continue hiking. We we love it. We believe that uh, the exodus is going to happen, the greater exodus, and we're going to be hiking, not camping. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you, and I'll catch you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. Bears! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>